Hey everyone, this is Cody. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video walkthrough on how to get your Skype set up with the Ecamm call recorder that you should all have downloaded at this point. Uh, it's just a handy plugin to record your Skype conversations, which we will use to uh, put together the podcast afterwards. Uh, so first things first, let's open our Finder. And in the Applications folder, we will look for our Skype app, or you might have it here down in the uh, in the dock. Pull open Skype, and the first thing we're going to do is go to our Preferences menu. Skype Preferences, or if you're a Shortcut fan, it's Command Comma. Uh, first things first, at the very end is the recording tab. That's all the settings for Ecamm. So a few things that you want to look for here. Um, check for updates. It should automatically update or check for updates every time that you open Skype. Audio encoding. You want this to remain uncompressed for full quality. Video quality is up to you. I don't recommend using video because it will, it doesn't create as stable of a connection which means sometimes the audio uh, can become, uh, it, can be, it can be glitchy and you can maybe even drop the call. So that's something that I really don't recommend if you're recording for a podcast, probably not to use video, but if you are set on that, you can choose here, high quality or normal. And then recording options, again, mine is set to audio only. You have a few options here as to how you want to record the video. You can record it split screen with both of your voices if you want, or uh, excuse me, both of your cameras. So you and your guest will be side by side. Um, there's a few options there. Again, I recommend audio only. There's a few preferences here. Show recording controls at launch. That will pop up as soon as you open Skype. Keep recording controls in front during calls. Basically, it's like a little widget where you'll be able to make sure that it's recording and check the volume levels. Record calls automatically if you want. Uh, this can be, that way, as soon as you start to call someone, it will record. That way you don't have to worry about remembering to turn it on. Some people prefer to uh, do like an opening introduction to their to their interview separately and then hit record when they, when they decide they want to start the official interview. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you, whatever your preference is. Uh, record voicemail playback automatically. Don't need to worry about that. Um, the recordings will automatically go in your movies folder, which is under your user home screen in Finder, and then the movies tab here. You can change that if you want. Just hit the search bar and you can, oh, actually it's telling you exactly where you want it to go. And you can hit this and customize that if you want to. It automatically goes to the movies folder. Uh, last thing before you get on any call is let's go to the audio video tab up here. Uh, for the microphone, if you have a USB mic or a uh, an interface where you have mics plugged into, that will show up under this menu. Built-in microphone is uh, the mic right built into the Mac. Uh, Motu Traveler, that's my interface that my mic is plugged into. Uh, just make sure you find the one that you're using and select that. For the ringing and the speakers, this is how you'll hear your guest. And this you can choose, again, your microphone if it has a headphone jack on it, your interface if it has a headphone jack, or you can leave it built in and just plug your headphones right into your Mac and listen to it that way. The volume here is the volume for your guest. You can adjust that uh, depending on if they're too loud, too quiet. You can, you can, you can change that if you need to. Uh, last thing you want to check, some USB mics don't have a volume knob on the mic itself and you'll need to change that in the system preferences so we'll go up here to the apple menu system preferences and sound by the way if you're a shortcut fan if you go up to your sound bar here in the taskbar up top hold option and click you can change devices here and there's a shortcut to your sound preferences for the input internal microphone this is and if you have a USB microphone this is where you will adjust your volume for whatever you need to do so if your microphone doesn't have a volume knob on it it's too hot or too quiet you can come in here and adjust it you can see now it's barely coming in or if I crank it then it's it's getting kind of maxed out so adjust that accordingly use your best judgment um, just listen 
make sure you have uh, your headphones on so you can hear yourself and adjust it based on that. Once all these are set, um, we are ready to record a call. If you're looking for the call recorder window, it's going to be, it should pop up automatically, but if it doesn't, it's up here in the menu, go to view, and at the very bottom is call recorder, and this pops up. So let's do a quick test call. And this is just a test, but once this thing is recording, you're able to look at the volume menu or uh, volume bar, I should say. Here's the input, this is mine, and then the output is what's coming from Skype. And we can see that that is working, so I'll just go ahead and turn that off. So you are pretty much all set. Um, again, this should pop up right when you open Skype, and it can record automatically as soon as you get on a call. What you want to do once the call is over, navigate to your movies folder here where all the calls will be saved and you should see a folder called saved calls right here. Uh, there's two things that you want to do. If I'm editing the show for you, all you want to do is grab this dot movie file. That's how it gets saved. Just grab this and copy and paste into our Dropbox folder. If you are editing it yourself or you want to send it off to somebody else, there is a way to split this so that you have your voice and your guest voice on different tracks. Um, again, we'll head to our applications folder. I have mine in a menu here. Um, there is a folder that comes with Ecamm called Movie Tools. We'll look in there and split movie tracks. And all you have to do is drag and drop the movie file from your call into here and it will split it up and now you have the voices separated and that means you can mix them separately, edit them separately, whatever you need to do. Uh, so that's it for uh, recording your podcast interviews on Skype with Ecamm. That's the process. Once you get it set up, you can ha leave all the settings in place and just open up Skype and get to it. So hope this helps. Always let me know if you have any questions and happy podcasting.